McDonald's Big Mac, it's more than just another hamburger. There are two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions on a sesame seed bun. Seven great ingredients working together to make one great taste. Two all-beef patties, special sauce, cheese, lettuce, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Get the idea? Two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. It's your McDonald's Big Mac. You've got to taste it to believe it, you know what I mean? Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Josh. And Babe. And Babe. Today, we are in a partially vacant home. This is our new home. We're moving. And this is going to be our very first meal in the new home. Yes. Right, babe? Yeah, that's right. So, we've been moving all day, mostly babe. I had to work a little bit and stuff like that, but babe has been killing it today. And tomorrow we have another full day of moving, but this is going to be our very first meal in the house. And so, babe and I, for the last, I don't know, year, year and a half, we've kind of been staying away from fast food. Fast food really isn't healthy for you, has a lot of processed, weird ingredients and a lot of it, but we're tired, we're hungry, and we feel like something good. So, babe, what are we having today? Uh, my <laughs> favorite, since I was five years old, a McDonald's Big Mac. We are going to be making a homemade, from scratch, everything McDonald's Big Mac. And so uh, we're gonna recreate it uh, like a clone of the exact Big Mac. And yeah, so hopefully that turns out good. Because, you know, we're trying to be on a fitness journey because we went from looking like this to currently how we look right now. And we wanna look like this. So, First meal, in the, well that's, yeah. as you can see, we're still in the process of moving in, but Babe has a very important announcement. I started this tradition when Josh and I first started dating for his birthday. I think it was your 30, what are you, 42? No, uh, I'm 28. Uh, I think it was your 34th birthday or 35th birthday when we first started dating. And uh, I went to Vegas and, he, and I met him there because we live in two different cities. And I had a limo and a bottle of Vouv waiting, and that is where Babe learned about Vouv Rosé. The important part is the Rosé. So then, when we moved into, when he moved out of his bachelor pad, and we moved into our last place, I got a bottle of Vouv as our housewarming gift, and so now here we are in our next place, and we need to have our traditional bottle of Vouv. This is a very good bottle. That was hard to do a boom. That was hard to do a. Yeah, babe. Social media. All right, babe. We're gonna pour our champagne for our toast, and then we're gonna make Big Mac sauce, and then we're gonna make Big Macs and French fries, and we're gonna drink sixty dollars champagne with Big Macs, and then it's McDonald's time, babe. McDonald's and boo. So we're gonna start off our Big Macs by making the sauce because I want it to kind of rest and marry while we do the rest of the. What so, kind of sauce, babe? The secret the Big Mac? secret Big Mac sauce. How are you gonna make this? So I'm gonna use it, uh, I'm gonna do mayonnaise, ketchup, oh shoot. Oh boy, oh boy, the boobs got into your head. Hey. Uh, relish, onion powder, garlic pepper that we got at the farmer's market, check out that video. Yellow mustard. That was a good shameless fun, babe. Thanks, <laughs> I'm learning. And salt. So ketchup, mayo, mustard, sweet relish, a little bit of the juice, garlic, salt, and pepper. Mix it all together. You're gonna go more mayo heavy. Yeah, we're gonna go a little heavier on the mayonnaise side. And then- I don't want it to be like a French dressing or a Thousand Island dressing. I want it to be- The McDonald's, McDonald's secret, sauce. Big Mac sauce. Yeah. And so I'm gonna start with mayonnaise and I'm gonna do, these are like probably two tablespoons each. So I'm putting in
No, actually I don't. No, it's super good actually. No way, first time? Babe, it's really good. Really? Like it, it has, it, yeah, I, I think it's actually really good. Let's get the camera to See, it's the on. lighter color. I don't want it to be more ketchup -y. I think it's super good, actually. It's the light. You could make it a more ketchup heavy or mayo heavy. I think that you did I really, really good. Mayo and you could definitely taste better. the relish and everything like that, baby. I think good? you did it. That's the secret Big Mac sauce. First time? Yeah. Wow. That's really good. All right. All right, so a couple different things about the Big Mac. One, the lettuce is kind of, oh yeah, thank you, babe. Thank you for the prop. The lettuce is like an iceberg lettuce, kind of shredded, right, babe? Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna get that. And then the cheese is like a child's craft American single. So we got that, yeah. like very basic, like not like a fine, sharp Tillamook cheddar or anything like that. It's like a craft American, like stuff that you have processed. in your house. Processed, yeah. Processed. And then the onions, they're not like fresh cut, legit, like babe needs to wear her sunglasses cut onions. No. They're like really basic onions. Like I'm not a big fan of onions, but I love the McDonald's onions. So chopped onions. We're gonna put some of these in like a little ramekin with some water, put it in the microwave 30 seconds, and we're going to rehydrate the onions. These are like dehydrated onions. We're going to rehydrate the onions. So basically what you're gonna have is like bun, you're gonna have your magic sauce, that you just made, you're gonna have patty, then you're gonna have like have, the really thin sliced pickles, more bread, then another patty, uh, the, the crummy lettuce. cheese, some lettuce, more pickles, more sauce. And I think pickles are only on one. Like no. the bottom, like I think the bottom one is. We're gonna, we're gonna deconstruct. So I eat my Big Mac in two parts. What, yeah. What's the two parts? I, I eat my Big Mac in two parts. I take the top part no. with the bun, the two buns, and I eat it, and that's just the lettuce and the Wait, sauce. you don't eat, but you don't go. No. So it's two hamburgers for you? Yeah. And then I take the bottom half, which has the cheese on it, and I fold it like a little baby taco, and I eat that one. You're also the same person that orders a breakfast sandwich from Jack in the Box with the hash browns and then puts the hash brown in the breakfast sandwich. Mm, that's Life nice. hack. Mm -hmm. So let's be honest, McDonald's patties are Pretty thin, small. From what I've heard, they're part soy. So I don't think they're using what you're, we're using. We're doing the 90-10 ground sirloin patties. All right, so babe has given me this thing. No, we got it from the butcher, but, babe. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to roll it in a ball. Roll this in a ball? Yeah. Okay, and then what? And then you roll it in a ball, and then you're gonna fold that paper in half, and then you're gonna smash it, smash burger it. I'm gonna to smash make it, burger it. Yeah, put it, put it like right here. And then you're gonna fold the paper over. Yeah, that might probably even be too big. Now, now, yeah, that's okay. Now press. That's what I'm thinking, babe. You want it thin. Yeah, super thin. Okay. But they're also like small and thin. I mean, you know, but. Holy mo no, babe, no. <laughs> no, babe, no. <laughs> no. No, babe, no. That's actually a good thickness. You should use a knife and cut around it and make it a circle. <laughs> You want to? <laughs> you want to make it into a Big Mac patty? Yeah, make it a. Uh, holy moly, babe! I, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's why that's why nobody watches our cooking show to learn anything. They just watch us because we're Josh and Babe. <laughs> yeah, babe, because we have shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Going to again like that. There you go, babe. We've got <clears throat> most of our patties done. We're gonna cook it up in the cast iron. And as you know, McDonald's doesn't do grill marks, so they do it on what would be like a blackstone, I think. So we're doing it in a cast iron. Heavy on the salt, and I think it's gonna be good. So if you guys like the uh, lighting situation in here, it's pretty bright and nice. Uh, definitely smash like button because the lighting is nice. Better than the other house, for sure, I think. It is good. Woo! I might have to change the camera settings. <sighs> so while we cook our patties, we're going to get our buns ready. Now I've got two tops and we're gonna need one, two, Three, yeah, four bottoms. 
<laughs> it's been a long day of moving, babe. Three, yeah, babe. Okay, babe, I forgot. We're making french fries. And I was- not McDonald's french fries. No. I was actually going to just um, do them in the oven like I normally would, but. McDonald's doesn't have sweet potato fries. They might now. It's like a crispy Big Mac, but the flavor is fantastic. But it tastes exactly like a Big Mac. That's how easy it is to make McDonald's in your house. Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. Mm. Babe, you want, you want to know this uh, text that I just got from Perry? Mm. If you need help moving, dot, dot, dot. I'm sure there's somebody standing somewhere that needs a job that could probably give you a hand if you hire them. That's awesome. Yeah. So, That's moving so sucks. Great. But thank you guys for uh, tuning in. We'll get, we're gonna finish up the move tomorrow. We're gonna get all the stuff. We're gonna have, we have barbecue now. We're gonna have some more barbecue videos. Bunch of different stuff like that. And yeah, so we appreciate you watching. We appreciate you hitting that like button. And yeah, we're just trying to grow our channel, have a little fun, and this is our hobby. And thank there you. you go. That's how easy it is to make McDonald's in your house. That was really good. Talk to you all later. Mm-hmm.